Yeah, if 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 Zelda is able to make it into a war of attrition, she's a hundred percent gonna win. Cause she wins trade situations. Oh, uh, Ivy's. Oh, sorry, we're on stream. Yeah, we got not Chris and Kala. I'd be curious. Uh, not I'm not surprised. Chris, not Chris kicked my ass last week or last tournament. Call Super good. This tournament. Super good. Not Chris has sent me back to the drawing board many, oh, many yeah. times in friendlies. And like, generally we have solidarity because we're PK brothers, but I'm like, nah. Not Chris has me being like, nah, F Ness. Like, <laughs> die. Little river rat. But that's just a testament to how good Not Chris is. Yeah, he's, he's so good. Very, very good. Missed He's the double jump cancel too. dare right there. That was not supposed to be a full hop. Uh, I think he could have. Oh, I'm just there. This is like a match that I don't know jack shit about because both these characters are fucking weird. Uh. Uh oh. It's oh, actually very interesting. They're like they're very similar in that both of them lose to SDI, but I feel like Ness's stuff is more true. Like it's it's harder to react to as opposed to yeah. I mean, for example, when I say SDI, I'm thinking like Razor Leaf. Like, Razor Leaf is like not a great projectile. And also, Ivysaurs, I've noticed they have a tendency to not throw it low. And so you can literally, if you're a short character like Lucas or Ness, you can literally just run underneath it if they're lazy with it. Um, So I'm curious to see how Kali uses Razor Leaf specifically, but. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's unfortunate. Did you get the six spot? I like what they call is holding space here. Like, not necessarily going for like the Ivy Sword double down tilt, but going for the mix up, which is like just one then grab. Oh, I like that by not Chris trying to challenge the tether. Ivy Swords will oftentimes get very lazy and they'll just kind of like camp out on the little tether vine thing and then get punished. Yeah, great job by Kala to recognize that Fair can be SDI. Looks like she. She? Is it a she? They SDI'd to the platform and then got the kill. Ivysaur? Kala? Mm -hmm. Kala's mm -hmm. a he. He, got it. Or I, I, Ivysaur the player. is a she. But... It's just the, the character's a she, the player's a he. Got it. Oh my gosh, late hit? That should kill, though. Yep. Now we do have Solar Beam on deck. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Nice recognition. Oh my gosh, that hit! Wow. Grab ledge. Roll up. We've got a game, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a game. Again, Solar Beam is on deck. I'm very curious to see how Kala tries to set it up. Nair is honestly one of the best Nairs in the game. Ivysaur's Nair is crazy good. Auto canceling, super strong. Ton of damage. I like the way that Kala's using that up there to get back down to stage. Tries to camp back here. It's not working out. Chris doing a great job of holding space. Literally just held like that oh, that man. space. Did you see that? Like three inches away from ledge, just held that space. Yeah. And Call could not get past. Really good uh, recognition, no. Chris. Ness's downer is crazy. Like it's insane. It is insane. The speed, actually, the strength, like it's, it's actually problematic. It's probably I'm uh -oh. gonna go out and say I think it's one of the best downers in the game in conjunction with double jump cancel. It is crazy good. Mm -hmm. How's Kala doing? Kala doing some tech errors. Oh, don't down, don't dash oh, that guess. Have, I mean. We have Ness down tilt versus Ivysaur Nair, which move is more fucking belligerent. <laughs> that was the most <laughs> belligerent interaction I've ever seen. I I despise Ivysaur Nair. I yeah. literally was playing Kala after our set. We were playing, playing friendlies because games were fun. Yeah. At one point, I like was uh, juggling him, and I hit like a tipper fair, like absolute like furthest my fair could possibly hit, and yep. he just did narrative hit on, and we traded. It's insane. It's I, I, don't know I how you trade with a fucking fire emblem forward air. No, I genuinely think Nair is one of the best. I would say one of the best Nairs in game. It, it is crazy. Like its range, the speed that it comes out, the amount of damage it does, the fact that it auto cancels, like it is wildly good. Yeah. It does so much. I mean this is all just extra credit for Chris though. Oh yeah. Or for and, and he's, he's not fine to uh 
He's fine to just kind of sit there in the air and land with PK Fire. I really rec like that uh, recognition from Call to recognize that those fair combos that Not Chris was doing are not real. A lot of people would be very scared to burn their jump versus a double jump cancel character. Kala just snared out and got out of the combo. But that's kind of what I'm talking about, where the, both of the characters like don't... They have stuff that's like not true, but it feels very true because it's so fast. Yeah. Both these, both these characters have combos that aren't necessarily true all the time, and they both also have fantastic combo breaking tools. Oh my god! The pivot um, grabs on deck for both of them are crazy. <laughs> Great recognition from Not Chris to recognize that he's going to roll away from the PK fire after I hit. Go, run past, grab the grab. Uh oh. Pushing the advantage okay. there. I feel like hitting Chris there has actually helped him a lot. Because he was off stage without his double jump. He would have had to yeah. yeah, yeah, you might, you might actually be right. Can you get the bear? No. Oh, oh, no. The flop from the up air actually broke the PK Thunder. Chris is controlling this entire game. You get that sense where just like this, it just feels very... Yeah, it's, all, it's just all not Chris. That's literally what it is. Yeah. It feels like Call is fighting for, for their life. And they're playing very clean. It, it might just be like a really tough match. I didn't kill... What? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. That was so okay. risky. Oh my I goodness. I didn't kill Wizard. Man, that resource is so bad. Ah, Dead. well. Dead. Game sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what Ivy can really do about just this PK fire spam. Yeah, I don't know. But, you, I mean... If you do uh, Razor Leaf, uh, Razor Leaf will lose and the PK fire will pop. That's right. That's exactly right. And also, like, as Lucas, that is the game plan. Like, PK freeze. Like, oh, keep God, her at a distance. Yeah, is you it... cannot hold in on Ivysaur Fair because it will combo into Sweet Spot Up Air and you will die at 97 after the hit. Up Air? Ivysaur Up Air is, isn't it one of the strongest Up Airs in game? Uh, it's very on strong. On Sweet Spot? I don't know. I don't know you have, numbers, you have like, Up Air. Super powerful. Bowser, Ike. I want to say Ivys. For sure, the strongest. Actually, maybe Ike's second hit up air is stronger. It's close. Ivy's is, is really definitely up there. Nice razor leaf to collect the PA Thunder. Roll. Oh man. One, one grab. Move. One grab kills for sure. Yeah. This has, this has to be a huge punish. One more grab, and it could be game. There it is. Oh, jeez. Seed Bomb is something you actually have to really watch out for. Like, it feels kind of lazy. Yeah, well, it is. Like, is that what it's called? Seed pot or seed bomb? Seed bomb, yeah. Yeah, seed bomb. It's like, it's very slow and you're, I don't know, it feels like very non-threatening, but it will actually kill you. It racks up damage really quickly. Three, two, one, go. Going back to FD, interesting. Jesus. Ness is cracked downer. Wow, I cannot believe. That's really tough because Ivy oh my goodness, did not Chris. want to DI wow. out. Are y'all oh watching the Twitch or are you watching the... the fuck? I'm, I'm chatting, but I'm just like <laughs> catching on to stuff that Chris is not Chris, not Chris just kind of remembered how to play. Who is, who is remaining in this tournament at the moment? Let me take a look at the bracket. It is these two, and then me and Polier. Damn, bitch. <laughs> Good luck. Right? I gotta play... If I want to win, I have to beat all of them. Yo, are we about to see some fucking Marth Roy action in a minute? I think we are. I'm excited. I've, I've, I've wanted to play Polier this whole time. Yeah, me too. Almost never. I lost a fake character. <laughs> uh, I think I'm okay against Marth, but we'll see. It's been a while since I played a decent one. I haven't played Dex in a while. Yeah, but you played me pretty recently, and I clapped. Uh, we only, you only play Marth against my Sheik. Yeah, because I need to get better at that matchup. True. And that's really tough. I hate that matchup. It's like even, isn't it? No, Sheik wins. Sheik is it's even in it's even in melee, right? No, Sheik definitely beats Martha melee. Really? 
like, yeah. it's even for like 10 years. It's nah. about even. I, that matchup is really bad for Marth at like lower and in, in intermediate levels. And then once the Marths learn how to actually juggle 